Hello uh, everyone, uh, welcome to another tutorial of uh, MySQL Database Administration. Uh, yesterday, uh, in the previous tutorial, we talked about the privileges in MySQL and uh, we are left with another privileges uh, which we required to uh, which, uh, which the privileges which can be granted to the user and that user is able to grant those privileges to another user, Some, just like uh, another DBA. Uh, like if you want to have multiple DBAs in your uh, environment so that's how you can use uh, this uh, with grant option uh, in MySQL with is a clause and grant option is a grant so with the what the optional with clause is used uh, to enable uh, a user to grant privileges to other users and the with uh, grant option clause gives the user uh, the ability to give to other users so any privileges the user has uh, at the specified privileges level okay <coughs> so those privileges will be uh, those privileges uh, user can grant to another user so let's say let's see uh, how we can uh, grant uh, uh, we how we can use uh, this grant option and uh, i will tell you how we can uh, give with the grant option so let's uh, let me let create a user uh, i'm here creating a user uh, it's called read only uh, user fail read only on local host i guess uh, i already have this user uh, that's why uh, it's not i'm not able to uh, do this uh, drop user let's drop this first okay uh, let me just create this oh sorry just create this again this should not yeah so now you, you see the user has been created uh, and it doesn't have uh, any privileges right now uh, it's just uh, uh, a user uh, without having any privileges and let uh, give me uh, give him uh, let give this user some privileges like what I'm doing here is uh, giving him a select privileges on bank dot accounts it's a bank uh, database uh, having a account table uh, to this read only uh, local host uh, uh, table with grant option so with this grant option means that this user can grant select privileges only on this table to another uh, another user okay so this is uh, what a grant option does so let's do this and let me show you uh, what sort of uh, grants this have so so uh, show grants for so if you can see this user have grant select on uh, this whatever uh, grant I have given here uh, you can see that it has been reflected over here so now this user can uh, uh, do is uh, select uh, only stack uh, from uh, bank start account okay oh sorry we have this from so if this user can do uh, this select on this so if you see uh, it is uh, because we have only given uh, selects uh, uh, privileges on bank dot account so it's obvious that it is not able to do anything on the uh, other table okay so now uh, let's see uh, the purpose of this video is to tell you uh, how we can uh, use this user uh, to grant to another user so uh, let me create another user and I will show you uh, and we will grant some privileges the same privileges to another user and check if the user is able to grant uh, the privileges it have to another user or not so for that uh, I need an another user what I'm doing is just a read write but we will give it to uh, give it uh, only the uh, select privileges okay okay uh, let's do this uh, now I have created this user and what I will do uh, let's connect to uh, this user okay the old one this user read only this uh, read only local host and okay my sequel minus u uh, we have this uh, minus p okay what is the password let's give him this password and if you i see uh, what is my user 
so I'm connected from the read only localhost and what I will do now that I will give this user the select on uh, the select rights on uh, this user okay and let, let me uh, connect to this user uh, on the other uh, uh, tab so you can understand what I want to achieve here so what was the password here this is the password so let's say show grants for uh, this user okay we need to copy it here so so if you see uh, we have this grant usage only this uh, it means that it doesn't have any privilege right now and this user have uh, this one use this user have uh, read only user have some grants okay so we will give uh, the grants to the uh, write only user so now uh, we have this created user and if i do the select steric from the uh, like uh, let's if it won't have any uh, privilege right now so if you do show databases you can see that uh, our bank account uh, bank database is not here so now we will give it uh, some grants statements on the bank start account uh, this one uh, let's not get into some error so that's why we are giving to the read write okay uh, from this user from read only user uh, we are going to give him uh, this uh, grant option uh, let's remove this one uh, because I wanted to show you some grants okay so let's uh, if you see here uh, this user is able to uh, give select on this user because this user have because this read only user have uh, this with grant option uh, so he can now give the select on bank dot account to another user so let's uh, see show grants for this user and if you see the grant select on bank dot account has been uh, reflected here so this user is now able to uh, select from uh, this uh, account account statement so let's say uh, use uh, bank on the second user on the read write and this user is now able to select serif from the account so you need to be very careful uh, to whom you give the grant option privileges because uh, two users with different privileges may able to combine privileges this is also a drawback here and you cannot grant another user a privileges which yourself uh, do not have so the grant option privileges enable you to assign only those privileges uh, which you yourself possess uh, like uh, uh, if I do here is a grant uh, insert uh, on bank uh, dot accounts to another user and it will fail because the to the user localhost from this table account is denied because uh, this read only user does not uh, possess this insert uh, <coughs> privileges with grant privileges so that's why is uh, this user is not uh, able to do this and one more thing uh, you need to be very aware uh, about this that when you grant a user uh, please note this thing um, this is very uh, interesting here uh, you need to be very uh, aware of that when you grant a user the grant option privileges at a particular privilege level any privileges that user possess or may be given in the future at that level can also be granted by the user to other user let's say uh, suppose that you grant a user the insert privileges on the database without uh, with grant privileges okay and if you then grant the select privileges on that database and specify with grant option that user can give to other user not only the select privileges but also the insert so whenever let's say a user have select insert uh, privileges but not with the grant privileges but once you give him the update privileges with grant then he can also give the uh, insert and delete uh, privileges to other user okay so this is so if you grant so this is how things like uh, here messy here but uh, you need to be very uh, you need to take care of this thing uh, let me show you the example here if you see here this user uh, select steric uh, sorry uh, this user <coughs> where, 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 yeah here uh, read write okay this does this guy uh, doesn't have this uh, uh, this uh, select is it's have a select but it's not with grant so this user cannot uh, grant uh, privilege to another user okay so if you see uh, 
this is not with grant okay uh, now uh, let me uh, connect to the mysql from the ut user and what i will do now uh, that i will give him the grant insert okay on bank because uh, i'm doing it from the root user but i will give it uh, with statement okay with grant option so now if you see here now if you see here okay let, let's see let, let me show you here uh, on the show grant for read write user before it has only select without with uh, with grants okay without with uh, without grant option now if you see this have select comma insert okay this have both of uh, with grant option now if this user can grant not only insert but also the select and the select was not with uh, grant option but now it have select and insert both are in with grant option so this is uh, how uh, you can create any dba uh, any account uh, which you want to be able to grant privileges to another user so this is how things work in mysql uh, to use this uh, grant option privileges uh, please uh, like and subscribe uh, to my channel if you like the video and please share it and like the video and watch it to the end because uh, I mostly uh, talk about very uh, interesting things in the middle of the videos uh, and please watch it so you don't miss the key points thank you so much for visiting and see you in the next video